The use of drones for delivery is often hyped, but with strict regulations has never quite got off the ground. Will the current need for contactless deliveries jumpstart the sector? The village of Monegal is 140 kilometers southwest of Dublin and the site of a proof of concept partnership between drone company Mana Aero and the country's health service executive. Mana Aero are already testing essential food deliveries from this service station. But now, with the coronavirus lockdown, they have shifted their attention to medicine. Hello, Dr. O'Reilly. The new service starts with a GP video consultation. A uh, cough bottle for that. The doctor sends a prescription by email to a nearby pharmacy. And they're going to deliver the drugs back to you by drone delivery. OK, no problem. The medicine is attached to a drone and is transported to the patient's door. In this case, people who are currently self-isolating. I'm 70 years of age and we're told to stay in. So we've stayed in, we've never gone out anywhere. Oh sure, it's absolutely brilliant. I thought I'd never see the day that there'd be such technology that I wouldn't have to be driving into town and back home to get my medicine. The UK too is considering how drones can be used to transport vital medical supplies. We'd like to be there in the next few weeks. We would like to start something in the UK in a similar setup to what we're doing here in Ireland. It's to support the local communities during these times. And we're in discussions. Our, our, our plant and our office, our R&D is in Wales. So we'd like to do something initially in Wales to show the UK public what it looks like. Wales has already been the site of remote drone delivery testing. Just before the lockdown, a drone successfully dropped a defibrillator over Snowdonia in Wales. It was a successful beyond line of sight test in collaboration with the Welsh Ambulance Service. And another first of its kind trial in the UK, bringing medical equipment by drone from Southampton General Hospital to St Mary's on the Isle of Wight is currently underway. In a joint initiative with the European Space Agency, the UK government has pledged £2.6 million for drone or satellite projects that could help the NHS. And the UK Space Agency says we may one day see dedicated drone corridors for shipping vital supplies. The possibility of air corridors between different locations to support the COVID-19 outbreak is a possibility in months. You find a few hospitals who are aware of the challenges that they are facing and up for engaging with us. And we have got some who are already engaged within NHS England and supporting this, who want to engage and have these testing and these pilots in their area. Diagnostics too could be done by drone. Trials from the University of South Australia show how temperature and vital signs can be seen by a drone, identifying someone who is coughing and what their temperature is. This system is now being tested by a police force in the US with a dragonfly drone. Researchers say it could one day be able to distinguish between different diseases, for example if someone is suffering from coronavirus or Ebola. So is this a site we're going to have to get used to? Drone delivery may be coming to our towns and cities sooner than we imagined.